Hey guys, Antonio Zilla here. Welcome to a new video. Today, we're doing a review of the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom Wave 2 Attack Pack. I mean, no, no, no. Ugh. We're reviewing the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom Roar of War Ceratosaurus figure Wave 2. No, it's Wave 2 is before Roar of War Ceratosaurus. Uh, Man, the names of these toys are so long. We're reviewing the Ceratosaurus. His packaging is pretty much the same as all the other packaging. It says Jurassic World. It shows that it roars. Um, it shows Owen in blue right here, three plus, and then it says the name of the dinosaur. And then there's a little box right here demonstrating the action feature. Then going to the back of the box, it shows the Ceratosaurus, push button for sound and chopping action. Then it says Ceratosaurus right here in a bunch of different languages. Then in the top left corner, it says Jurassic World. Get the Jurassic World Facts app. Then it shows some of the other dinosaurs you can get. I have reviewed the Triceratops, but I do really want to get the Pteranodon and the Ankylosaurus. So now let's take him out of the box. Oh, there we go. So here he is. Oh, oh, stay. Here he is out of the box. Now this figure is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that head sculpt right there. The head sculpt looks really good. It looks just like the Ceratosaurus that was featured in Jurassic Park 3. And look at his teeth. Wow, very gnarly. And they did a really good job on the eye socket and the nasal cavity and like, it's just all really, are you kidding me? It's all just really cool how, you know, they put the detail like the nasal cavity and the, um, the nostril and that really nice looking dinosaur unicorn horn. So as far as his articulation goes, he has articulation in his arms so he can move about this far back and this far forward. And then it can move out like this, and then down to the legs, it moves out like that, just like pretty much most of the dinosaurs in this toy line. He's got some interesting articulation in the tail. It can swing, or it can swivel all the way around. Yeah. It can actually swing around. I think that's pretty cool. I don't see why you would need this, but it could be useful for like when you're posing it. So now let's get into his action feature. So there's a button right here on its back, obviously. And when you press that, it roars. But the thing is, its roar is a T-Rex. Why, why and all of that is good and holy, why? Why does it gotta be a T-Rex? Like it could have been some like a, like a, I don't know, something but a T-Rex. It just seems like, in this toy line, the T-Rex has been used a lot in the like the sound effects for the dinosaurs that they're making. I don't know, it's just it's just kind of it just it gets weird after a while. Never mind guys, turns out there's a roar that's actually an Indoraptor. That is cool. And then there's also this snarl that's pretty cool that's not a T-Rex, which is also really good. One of my favorite things about this figure is the paint. I love how they utilized the paint and how they made like the red like on the head like really it just it's really effective looking. I think they really did a good job like with the paint job. You can see that great striping that goes all the way down to the tail. It looks very very Kenner like. It looks a lot like a Kenner dinosaur. I like it a lot. So that pretty much tops off this review of this amazing Ceratosaurus toy. If you're interested in my channel and my content, I really suggest you hit the like button, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy reviews coming very, very soon.